other side. Howdy. You're up early. I'll catch you later. I wouldn't give you more than, more than you can handle. Morning, officer. Morning. I just wanted to tell you, your front tire looks kind of low. You might want to get it checked out. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, you boys have a good day now, OK? You too. What are you standing here all mopey for? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're just kind of bland. We just started talking. Right, right. Have you talked to Matt and Grogan yet? They're not accepting my calls. They're pissed. Hey, it's their fault for getting caught. Well, don't worry. They're not going to squeal. All right, well, here comes Grogan. Let's talk about something else. What should we talk about? I don't know, something else. I don't know what to talk about. Talk about sports. What do you know about sports? Oh, Zach. Hi, Grogan. Hi, ass face. Hey, don't be mad at me. It's not my fault you're not smooth and nimble. Smooth and nimble, huh? Take it back. Hey, uh, smooth guy, who was that you were talking to over there? That's your friend, Matt. 
The other guy you douched. Behind Matt, talking to Emily. That's my lawyer. Huh? She's my student lawyer. Don't you wish you got caught? She's gonna defend us. Suzanne McKenna? Yeah, McKenna. I've seen her before. You know her? Sort of. She's friends with Emily. So am I. How come I don't know her? She uh, transferred in sophomore year, doesn't go out much, into her studies. What does she do? What do you mean, what does she do? Like, uh, doo-doo? Like, besides being dickhead's lawyer. Oh, like, does she play sports? Is she student council president? That kind of do? Yeah, that kind of do. She's student council president. Is she really? Yeah. Did you vote for her? No. Well, who did you vote for? What's the difference? Just a bunch of old white men legislating my uterus anyway. Hmm. I gotta talk to her. I don't know. Look at that goon she's with. Yeah, who is that guy? I think he's student council treasurer. <laughs> Sorry. You're wearing that shirt my mom gave you. You dropped your cup. Thanks. That shirt. You dropped your cup again. Oops. Sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me? I, I'm sorry. I dropped my cup on your feet. Oh, don't worry about it. Hey, what's your name again? Suzanne. Tracy, this is Fred. You're Fred Peterson, right? Uh, uh, no, Suzanne, this is Felix Bean. Hi, Felix. Hey, Emily. Uh, I must have you mixed up with someone else. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, sure. You wanna go in? Yeah, sure. Okay, see you later. Okay, see you around. Felix. Hey, how you guys doing? It's like uh, waiting online for Space Mountain. In Russia. So, how does it feel to rule the school? What? You know, rule the school. Pretty good, I guess. Yeah, you know, I was gonna run, but, uh, well, I'm pretty busy and all, so. Yeah, I bet. Lanchard! How much will you give me if I hug the next guy that comes out of the bathroom? Really, how much, no matter who it is? How much will I give you? A dollar. A dollar? Come on, you gotta give me more than a buck. You won't do it. I will. Come on, five dollars. Three. All right, fine. Three dollars. If I embrace the next guy that comes out of that door right there, I'm gonna do it. Fine. What the fuck are you doing, man? Get off me. What? I thought you were my coach. Get out of here. Hey, Emily. Hey, Felix. What do you got going? Uh, nothing. I have medieval issues in a few minutes, but I'm gonna stop by the mailroom first. Cool, me too. Medieval issues, what's that? Stuff about axe fights and grog and that kind of thing? No. Actually, it's gender issues in medieval times with Professor Brancoli. Hmm. She's awesome. Hey, are you coming to the Aurora Borealis party tonight? Hey, I don't know. Um, is anything gonna happen this year, or are we gonna... Sit around staring up at the sky like we did last year. Emily, it's the northern lights. The sky's gonna turn blue and red and green. It's astronomical. I bet it is. I suppose you want me to bring Suzanne? Suzanne who? Suzanne who? <laughs> Forget it then. What? Nothing. I guess you don't like Suzanne McKenna. What, the student council president? Yeah. What's happening, Lix? Who got to be? Freaky Reeky, what's the word? Gertie Bird, babe, Gertie Bird. Hold on, Jellybean. 
One more for the road. That one's on the house. Thanks, Freaky. Hey, Emily. Oh, my brown-eyed beauty. Another letter from Mama. Hi, Freaky. A little late in that credit card bill, sugar. Don't want to mess with the credit man. Thanks, Freaky. So, why would you think I was interested in Suzanne McKenna? No reason. I guess I got bad information. Who told you that, Zach? Felix, don't worry about it. If you don't like her, you don't like her. Who's the ape? What ape? What ape? That ape she was hanging with on Saturday. Oh, that ape. That is Suzanne's high school boyfriend. He goes to Peck. But just between you and me, they've been having some problems lately. <laughs> Keep it hush, because a lot of people died for that information. Thanks. So, are you guys going to be able to make tonight or no? Yeah, we'll be there. Lush. I may be a little late, though. I have play rehearsal. For what? Women's theater group. Women's theater group? What's up with that? Look, I decided to get a little bit more involved on campus, try some things out. But no dudes? <sighs> it's liberating, Felix. You don't have to put up with all the bullshit. Anyway, I gotta go. We'll see you around 11. What bullshit? Why aren't you talking to her? I'm gonna. I'm just waiting for the right time. What do you mean, the right time? Where the hell is this thing? It's coming. I think I see the first signs of it now. Look up. Oh, yeah. I think I see something. Hey. 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 Felix, I don't think anything's happening. It'll happen. Don't worry, I'm on top of it. On top of the Aurora Borealis? Oh, I thought you meant Suzanne. Hey. 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 Mm. I promise not to drop a cup on your feet this time. What? Remember on Saturday night, I dropped a cup on your feet? You called me Fred Peterson. Oh, right, Fred Peterson. I'm sorry about that. You just reminded me of this really dorky guy in my chem class. I mean, not that you're a dork. So, what's this thing supposed to look like anyway? It's gonna be one of the coolest things you'll ever see in your life. The sky's gonna turn red and blue and green with streaks of light. See, the light deflects off the water molecules in the clouds and it sends it off in different directions at different speeds. Yeah, I think Fred Peterson told me about this once. So, you're saying I'm a dork? <laughs> you know, there are a lot of cool people at this school who you probably labeled as dorks. Felix Bean. Hey, look, I don't have any problem with dorks. Felix, this is bullshit. We're out of here. Oh, I swear I saw something. Counselor? <sighs> What's up? Not much, aside from her calling me a dork. You call Felix a dork? No. I just said that he reminded me of Fred Peterson. Fred Peterson's a dork. I know, OK? OK, so besides the dork thing, are you guys hitting it off? What do you mean? Easy, Tiger. She already knows. Knows what? Emily. Jeez, it's greasing the wheels a bit. You guys are so silly. I'm sorry about that. Look, uh, I don't know what you've heard, but um, it's not like I like you or anything. OK. I mean, it's not that I don't like you. I mean, I really don't even know you, so how could I like you, right? Right. I'll see you later. How'd it go? Uh, pretty well. First, she called me a dork, and then I told her I didn't like her, so. Good start. You know, there are plenty of fish in this puddle. I mean, maybe your bait's just not tasty enough. Oh, I'll show you tasty bait. 
<laughs> Good evening, and welcome to the Leather Fish. Tonight our specials are as follows. We have an herb-crusted chicken breast with basil and fresh sun-dried tomatoes. I recommend it. We also have a fresh halibut with fresh thyme and fresh coriander sautéed in a fresh leek sauce. Also very good. And the soup of the day, we have a, a fresh, fresh. Oh, that's okay. I don't think I'll be having the soup. I got it. Uh, you know, I don't think I'll be having the soup either. Fresh something. Fresh. Well, I think we'll need a few minutes anyway. Corn. Corn soup? Corn soup. Is it fresh? Very fresh. Well, I'll give you a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that guy's my gender issues of the Wild West class. <laughs> so, you're Matt and Grogan's lawyer? Yeah. I'm doing that for court litigation class, pre-law. Wait a minute. I mean, can't you just pardon them? What do you mean? I mean, isn't that part of your powers? What? Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to be out of line. I hope I'm not suggesting anything unethical. I... Uh, what are you gonna have? I think I'm gonna get the grilled vegetable plate. You vegetarian? Yeah, but I eat chicken and fish. Oh, uh, well, I hear they have a wonderful mahi-mahi pot pie. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've never been to this restaurant before. Really? Well, I guess you're too busy running things and all. Running what? The school. Running the school? Yeah, you know, the presidency. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you think I'm president of? The school. Who told you that? Well, have we decided? What? Have we decided? Um, yeah, I'll have the soup. Very good. <laughs> That's a joke. I don't get it. What? You don't like corn? No, I do. It's... Um, I'll actually just have the grilled vegetable plate. You want me to hold the corn? No, no, I like corn. That was just a joke, because before you couldn't remember what today's soup was. Well, I just started working here, and it's a little bit hard to remember everything. No, you don't understand. I was just joking. What do you want? I was actually thinking I might try the soup. Ha, ha, ha. That's very funny. You know, if you guys aren't happy with the service, I can call the manager. Uh, Mr. Santos! No, no, really. I want the soup. Okay. I'm stupid, all right? I'm sorry I don't get your private little joke. Mr. Santos! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. She's got a boyfriend, but she went on a date with you? Well, yeah, but he goes to another school, so. How long has she been with him? I don't know, supposedly like four years, back from high school. <laughs> now, he's a big boy, if I remember. Football player? Rugby. Yikes. So you're gonna be buying some new running shoes. You must be forgetting that I'm a bad motherfucker. Right, 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 right. Anyway, she says they've got one of those seeing other people types of agreements, so. Oh, so you're playing Mr. Backdoor Charlie. <laughs> well, not really. Backdoor man, Felix, I've seen it before. You'll see her for a few weeks, you'll have a great time. Probably no sex. <laughs> and then one day she'll say she's gonna go visit, uh... what's his name? Tracy. Tracy? Ooh, dude with the chick's name, huh? Yep. T-R-A-C-I. <laughs> Tracy with an I? Yeah. That's tough. You know what his last name is? Shannon. No. Tracy Shannon? Yeah. Tracy <laughs> Shannon? So not only is that name a firsty firsty, it's a firsty firsty girly girly. That it is. That's weird. So anyway, here's how it's gonna go. She's gonna say, I'm just gonna go up there for the weekend because you know I haven't seen him in a while and we're still friends. And you're gonna say, sure, sure, that's cool. It's not like we're going out or anything. And then she's gonna say, shut your pie hole, Zach. No, she's not gonna say, shut your pie hole, Zach. No, she's I'm saying, say, shut your pie hole, Zach. Who's that?
So what's her name? Her name is Marjorie Fontaine. <laughs> is she hot? Szechuan. Wait, wait, which one is she? Is she the one with the eyes on either side of her head? No, she's not Hammerhead. Hammerhead's not hot. I think Hammerhead is kind of cute. That's ah. ridiculous. Hello. <laughs> hey. hey. Really? Oh. What's up, my man? Hey, Freaky, you know who Marjorie Fontaine is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marjorie Fontaine is the track trotter. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's oh. her? Oh, well, that's now it's perfectly clear. You work out? Occasionally. Well, she is at the track every day. And I mean every single day, just a loop in the thing. And no matter what time you get there, she'll already be running. And no matter what time you leave, she'll still be running. Hideous purple tights? Well, I might say she's not so hideous herself. That's the girl? <laughs> That's the one. Oh. Adios, muchachos. Keep the peace. Keep the peace. See you later, Momo. <laughs> I still have no idea who she is. Oh. Did you get her number? Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Check this out. <laughs> wow, that's fucked up. What? What? There's only six digits. Exactly. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Six digits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's her zip code. Zip code is five numbers, asshead. And why the hell would she leave him her zip code? Well, I'm just saying it's possible. I mean, it. Clearly not a phone number. Maybe it's just the first six digits of her number, and she wants you to figure out the seventh. What kind of goddamn maniac does that? <laughs> Marjorie Fontaine. Anyway, I already tried that. I dialed the first six, and then one, and then two, and then three, <laughs> and then eight, and nine. How embarrassing. Hey, you try zero? Yeah, I tried zero. None of them worked, huh? No, but I got the home phone number of the guy who owns a Rick Johnson pizzeria. Rick Johnson? Yeah. He's an asshole. <laughs> Do you think she did this to you on purpose? I don't know. I mean, you don't just write your phone number down and forget to write the seventh digit. Maybe it's uh, one of those love numbers. You know, like a uh, 24, 7, 365. Oh, it's like she wants to be with him 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Well, the numbers are 21, 3, 147. Oh, so I guess she wants to be with you 21 hours a day, three days a week, 147 days a year. Yeah, lick me, you little freak. Well, actually, three days a week would figure out to be 156 days a year, and not 147 days a year. Well, maybe she's Dutch. Don't those European phone numbers have six digits? So basically, what you're going to have to do is go through this thing and plug in a new number in every gap until she finally answers the phone? Yeah. <laughs> That's grim, brother. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Not much. I thought I heard you guys over there. You want to take a study break? Oh, I don't know. I really have to finish this. Can I meet you later? Sure. I'm supposed to go to Emily's play tonight. Do you want to go? Oh, is that that uh, all women's theater group thing? Yep. Is that going to be any good? It might be kind of alternative. What, like nudity? <laughs> I don't know, Felix. I guess you'll have to see for yourself. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. See ya. Directory assistance. Unlisted. Damn. I can't imagine how they're possibly going to be able to pull this thing off. I mean, this is a classic piece of work. They have to be very careful not to ruin it. Don't you think that's a bit of a stretch, to call this a classic piece of work? Come on, there have been like six sequels to this thing. <laughs> I don't see sequels. Well, now, that's ridiculous. Some sequels are pretty good. Oh, yeah? Like what? Jaws 2, Splash 2, Empire Strikes Back was awesome. Rocky 2, he wins. I didn't see any of them. Well, you don't know what you're missing. Yes, I do. Explosions, tits and ass. Explosions, tits and ass. Explosions, tits and ass. You're just pissed because they don't make sequels to chick movies. I mean, who would go see Mystic Pizza 2? Mystic Pizza was a good movie. Yeah, I bet. I never saw it. Well, too bad. You could have seen Julia Roberts naked. She's not naked in that movie. She sure is completely naked. And she kisses Winona Ryder. 
She does not. That's Emily. You'll never get away with this, Rex Ruther. You'll never get away with this. Rose Rain, there are only 10 minutes till detonation. No one can stop me now. No one. I know there's supposed to be some sort of message here, but uh, I just don't. Shh, I'll explain it to you later. Thanks for sitting through that with me, Felix. A lot of guys I know would have gone to the bathroom and never come back. Well, uh, there was no men's bathroom for this production. <laughs> I really like being with you, Felix. But? I don't know. What is it, Tracy? Well, honestly, yeah. Look, anytime you want to stop. No, I don't. Oh, it's no big deal. I mean, I'm fine with the way things are. But Tracy and I are still going out. I know. I know. I'm just saying it's OK with me if we both date other people. Are you dating anyone else? No, but I'm just saying. Oh, OK. I mean, yeah. Sure. Cool. <laughs> you couldn't even smell it. <laughs> Can I uh, get you another cold one? Sure. I'll be right back. Matthew? Grogan. Well, hey, Sarah. Hey, Matt. Grogan is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sounds to me like you uh, like him. Wow. Wow. You and Garbage Dick, that's great. I mean, he was just Wait, saying that. What did you say? I was just saying how Garbage Dick told me he thought you garbage were Garbage kinda... Dick? Yeah. Oh, no, no. I mean, it's no big deal. I mean, that was at least a year or two ago anyway. Wait, what does that mean? Ah, I wouldn't worry about it. Besides, everyone wears condoms these days, right? Hey, hi, Billy, hi. For you? What? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. Um, you haven't seen Felix around, have you? Hmm. He was here, uh, I think he left. Okay. Thanks. See ya. We gotta get out of here. Why does he want to meet you here? I don't know. That's what he said. This is ridiculous. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'll tell him that you felt sick and that you went home and to just go there. He's here. Who? Thunder or Firefly? Thunder. Oh, shit. Wait, which one is that? Tracy, Thunder, Felix, Firefly? All right, let's get Thunder and get out of here. And then, let's lose the nicknames. Hey! Hey! I'm so psyched you're here. Yeah, I'm glad I got in touch with you before you went out for the night. Oh, yeah, me too. I thought you were busy this weekend. Well, I was, but my rugby game got canceled, so I've got tomorrow off. Yeah, it was really good. Well, I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Let me get my bag. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, I had a good time. I'm ready. Trace, you remember Felix, right? 
You're that guy who hugged me. Uh, yeah. Nice to see you. Hey! All right, well, uh, I'm actually taking off right now. Just wanted to say hello. See you later. Okay, see ya. Suze, keep that guy away from me. I think he's, um, what do you call it? Gay. <laughs> Uh, I really have a lot to do today, so... Uh, yeah, I should probably get out of here. Yeah. Let's have brunch sometime. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, you have my number? <laughs> well, it's in the book, right? Yeah, right. So, I'll just get it from there. Cool. All I'm saying is, it was a sticky situation last night. Are you gonna call her? Jennifer Montgomery? We said we'd have brunch sometime. I'm talking about Suzanne, fool. Ah, uh, well, actually, she called me. She said she was sorry and she wants to see me tonight. I guess that's a good sign. Well, you know, I couldn't care less. I totally believe you. All right, hotshot, enough stalling. Are we gonna do this? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, maybe I should just go home, dial the rest of the numbers. She's bound to answer eventually, right? How many calls have you made? 20. And how many possible phone numbers are there? 80. So you've only done 20 out of 80? Have you ever dialed 20 wrong numbers in a row? No. It's embarrassing. As embarrassing as hiding behind these bleachers, you quivering pup? OK, let's do it. All right. Have you ever seen Mystic Pizza? I thought that was a chicks movie. It is. But I've heard it's pretty good. There. Marjorie Fontaine. That's her? I have seen her before. Damn, boy. Get that number. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Maybe we should run or something. I'm not running. Come on. Well, I don't want to run. She's gonna come around again. We're gonna be standing right here. Please. As a man. All right, Punch. Only because I like your smile. All right, say something to her. No, man, shut up. Hey, Marjorie! Shut up, what? That damn is pathetic. Let's get out of here. Come on, Zach. All you have to do is start waving when she comes around the bend so she's got enough time to see you. Wave. See, there you go. Now just ask her for her number when she gets here. Hey, Zach, call me sometime. God damn. It's bullshit. I'm getting her damn number. That's spirit. Better do it soon, though. She's headed for the women's locker room. Unless, of course, you want to stick around and wait for her to come out. So she thinks you're stalking her. Ooh, creepy. How many phone numbers? 80. Hey, Zach, call me sometime. I'm your lawyer. I'm here to get you off. Okay, these are the facts according to the security report. The back door was wide open when security got there. 
Sensing danger, Security Officer Reese entered the building, heard some noises, and followed those noises into the kitchen. Upon reaching the kitchen area, the officer found two unidentified perpetrators in front of the refrigerator. Dressed in pink blouses and hats That's with guilty. assorted luncheon meat stuffed in their mouths. Would you two cut it out? He's messing with my psyche. This guy's nuts. Uh, nuts is thinking you could smuggle an industrial-sized tub of pancake mix out of the cafeteria in your pants, Jumbo. I was going to give that pancake mix to some local orphan boys. We are going to fatten them up so you could eat them, you monstrous pig? He pissed in the Parmesan cheese. I demand a separate trial. Shut Look. up, both of you. Matt, go sit over there. You guys could be in big trouble. The Judiciary Board is considering suspending you for the rest of the semester. This is a serious offense. Eating ice cream? Now, it's possible that I may be able to get you a reduced sentence. The board looks very favorably on honesty, so you have to be honest with me. They think there's a third guy. A third guy? They found a back window open. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think that you two are smart enough to pull this off alone. So talk. You see, right now, you're looking at murder one. So I strongly suggest you start singing, my fine friend. I didn't do nothing. All right, have it your way. I give my regards to Leon the Birdman over in the state pen. I hear he likes his turkeys plump. All right. All right, I'll talk. I stashed the body up in Beggar's Canyon, the old mine shaft. But I want witness protection. Hey, we'll set you up in an entirely different part of the campus. No, no, no. New name, new grades, new book bag. Don't push me. No book bag, no deal. You hear that, counselor? No book bag, no deal. Cruncher, cruncher, cruncher. Went the boot in the snow. Got a huncher, huncher, huncher. There's more than we know. Pandas bearing down on us. Nowhere for us to go. Watch it! Really, Felix, I want to explain. What's to explain? I know you go out with another guy. I guess it's just the way it's going to be, right? Right. I didn't know he was coming. He was going to surprise me. Yippee. I said I was sorry. OK. So let's just put it behind us, all right? Besides, if I hug him again, I'm going to have to ask him with a prom. <laughs> you ready for the big trial? Yeah, I guess so. Your pals aren't being very smart, though. The board has latched onto this third guy thing, and they're not giving up. They want a name. Well, maybe there is no third guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emily Cooper. <laughs> Come on, give her a chance. She's not that bad. Do you have any protection, Mr. I Wanna Have Sex? Uh, no. I do. You do? The inside kind or the outside kind? <laughs> the outside kind. The outside kind for me or the outside kind for you? I've got condoms, Felix. Oh, well, that's what I thought. I just wasn't sure. They're in the drawer. Oh. What would be the outside kind for me? A diaphragm. 
I mean, I know it's not really outside you, but it comes from the outside. So it's not like the pill, which would be the serious inside kind, because that's just way inside you. <laughs> Shut up, Felix. This is weird. What's wrong? I don't want to do it anymore. Why not? It's just not as spontaneous. Okay, how about if I leave the room and then come back in and uh, start from there? <laughs> Felix. It's a little more spontaneous, <laughs> right? Oh, no, no. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. Is uh, Marjorie there? I'm sorry, I must have the wrong number. Hello, is Marjorie there? I'm sorry, I must have the wrong number. Harder. 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 That's so hard. Hello. Hello, is Marjorie there? I'm sorry, I must have the wrong number. You guys gonna have a theme party? Uh, yeah. 60s, baby. Hey, you tell Suzanne to bring Emily. I'd like to see how she dresses for the summer of love. <laughs> I will if I see her. I mean, if I see her, I thought you guys patched things up. Well, yeah, we definitely did, but I'm a little unsure as to whether or not things are completely settled. Why, because of thunder? What? What's thunder? Hello, is... <laughs> thunder is what Emily and Suzanne call their other boyfriend. How do you know that? Freaky's a mailman. Freaky knows all. Well, why do they call him Thunder? What do you think? That's a pretty badass name. Hello, is Marjorie there? I'm sorry, I must have the wrong number. Thunder. You know they got a particular nickname for the Lima Bean Man, too? Is, oh, yeah. Uh, Marjorie there? Oh, 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 oh. No. You have the wrong number. Well, what is it? Firefly. <laughs> Firefly? Yeah, as in lightning oh. bug. Oh. <laughs> Hello, is uh, Marjorie there? The 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 she is. Oh Firefly. Oh. Hey, Marjorie, this is Zach. Hey, is that her? Zach Streeter. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must have the wrong Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. No, ask him to go out with Matt. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. No, 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 I'm not talking to you. Fuck you, Firefly. You hang up, I'm well with her. Fuck you. I thought they said 50s. Pretty good to me. 
Well, does he have a girlfriend? No, no, no. Cool. No girlfriend, uh, he's too loyal. What do you mean? Well, I think he's still married. I told Tracy I was seeing someone else. Mm hmm What did he say? He said he wanted to beat the guy up. He's such a baby. Did you tell him it was me? No, I wouldn't tell him who it was. I told him he was stupid. Actually, I don't know if he's legally married. See, he spent last summer in Natchez, Mississippi. Had a thing with a 12-year-old. I shouldn't be talking about this. 12? Would you say he's bigger than I am? Yeah, he's bigger than you. So? What do you mean, so? What if we get into a fight? You're not going to get into a fight. How do you know? Because I think you're more mature than that. What, you don't think I can fight? I didn't say that, Felix. I just don't think of you as the fighting type. What's up, Sophie? See, they got married, and uh, the cops found out, and, well, you know cops. That kind of ended it. They still write, though. Well, he writes. She's still learning. Men do not like to be told that another man can beat them up. It's like your daughter's bike. You would never let your neighbor put your daughter's bike together. Ah, it's no big deal, you know, it's over. He's not allowed into Mississippi anymore, and she wanted to raise the kid there, and, uh... Between you and me, I think that's for the best. Hey, Spudhead. Hey, girl again. Hey, Julie. Maybe I can take you. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, talk dirty to me, Felix. <laughs> what? I don't know what to say. Come on, don't be so conservative. Oh, God. Come on. Okay. Not like that. That's gross. What? That's dirty. That's disgusting. Until I have to go to the bathroom? Well, that's not really what it means. <laughs> Look, you said talk dirty to you. That's what I did. That is something you do to a prostitute. That's something you do to Jennifer Montgomery. You didn't think I knew, did you? You stupid revenge asshole. Uh, Jennifer Montgomery is not a prostitute. I didn't say she was, but don't defend her. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Did I have to see her around campus? Did you sleep with her that night Tracy was in town? Look, I really do not want to get into this. It's no big deal. I can take it. Did you? <sighs> yes, we had sex. So you have sex with that prostitute and you want to fuck me till I have to go number two? Well, if that's all women are to you, Felix, then why don't you just line them up and fuck them all? What happened to talking dirty to you? You're a sexist. Sexist? I'm a sexist. I think you're confused. Are you saying I'm a sexist because I enjoy having sex? Well, I guess you'll have to ask Jennifer Montgomery about that. Oh, come on, Suzanne. You were having sex with your boyfriend at the time. Well, at least I didn't just meet him in a bar and go home with him in one night. We've been sleeping together for four years. Oh, well, that makes me feel so much better. Look, Felix, I'm not into playing games, all right? Suzanne, you are still going out with another guy. But that's what we agreed to. Well, then that's what I'm doing. Hey, Sue, it's me, Tracy. Me llamo Tracy. Well, you might as well get that because I'm out of here. Freaky. Freaky. 
Box four, one, one, three. What? Box four, one, one, three. What's up, me Mexican jumping bean? Smooth party tonight, huh? Yep. So what brings you to my little holes in the wall at this hour, Licks? I don't know. I'm actually having some problems. Lady troubles, eh? Hmm. Tell you what. I got just the thing. Box 4187. What? Right four, left three, right one. <laughs> Speedy delivery. <laughs> so, Green Bean. Tracy with an eye. I don't know. I'm actually starting to get into this relationship, if you want to call it that. And uh, this guy just keeps getting in the way. I can't seem to find a way around him. Fact is, Bean Pod, if you want her, you gotta close the door. You gotta make her want you more. Want me more? Yeah. You're wittier than this cat, right? Sure. Cooler than this cat, right? Yeah. Zippier than this cat, right? Uh, I guess so. Well, then prove it to her, baby. You gotta outshine this dude. You have to eclipse him. You gotta be the Jupiter to his Mars, the gold to his bronze, the wheat to his chaff. Get some hotels on your property. Freaky. Oh, ho, ho. gots to go, Beano. Keep the fig, man. Catch you later. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, freaky. I'm done, I'm done. Run out, run out. Deal, deal. Sorry about that, Felix. Oh, I thought this was practice. Oh, well, I couldn't let the beginner get away without a bit of punishment, right? Oh, yeah? I'll get you for that, Greg. Yeah? Vengeance, eh? That's right. I'm gonna teach your grandmother how to swim, bitch. That's good. You're getting it. Thanks. I guess I need a little coaching in the trash talking department, though, huh? Well, Felix, you see, the art of trash talking serves to intimidate the opponent, right? Will you guys please think about your future? Now you have 15 minutes before you're in front of the judge. I really might be able to get you guys off with just probation. Besides that streaking thing, this is basically your first offense. But you have to tell me the truth. Who was the third guy? Oh, you guys, you don't even have to tell the judge. I'll take full responsibility for seeing that you guys get a break. I'll give him the name. Well, we can't tell you. But, um... Hey, everyone ready for the big trial? I'll see you in the courtroom. Hi, how you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? What are you doing here, Felix? I don't know, it's just that last night was kind of messed up. Felix, I really can't talk about that right now. This trial, Matt and Grogan are, what are you wearing? <clears throat> okay, look. I've got to tell you something. I'm going home for the weekend. You need to tell me you're going home for the weekend? Yeah, but it's no big deal. 
Well, why would it be a big deal? Well, it's not. That's what I'm saying. I just need some time to think. I don't... I've got to go. The trial's about to start. Okay, then I'll call you over the weekend. No, don't call me. Why can't I call you? Just don't, Felix. I'll see you Sunday. Hey, you scab. What? What do they pay to sell out your fellow students, eh? It's actually for credit. Pre-law class. <laughs> Pre-law class. Hey, you ever heard of Suzanne McKenna? Of course. She's in my class. Yeah? Well, she's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> you guys were caught red-handed. Oh, yeah? Well, she's gonna kick your ass. Okay. <laughs> ah. How you guys doing? I don't know. Why don't you ask our lawyer? <laughs> Maybe you guys should cool it a bit, huh? Why? Suzanne's an awesome lawyer. Maybe you've heard of Brown versus Board of Education, 1954. Ali versus Frazier, 1972. Earth versus the Spider, 1958. Kramer versus Kramer, 1979. Shut up. <laughs> it's a movie. Anyway, we came up with a foolproof plan that'll definitely inspire Suzanne to bust us out of this joint. Oh, yeah. What was that? We, uh, we just told her Felix was in on it. <laughs> See, now that she knows that Felix was the third man, she'll definitely get us off. Maybe that wasn't a good move. Are you kidding? See, she gets us off and nothing will happen to Felix. She's not gonna let us lose. You guys are caught red-handed. Why does everyone keep saying that? Good luck. Oh, yay, oh, yay. The judicial board is now in session. Dean Hedgepath presiding. All rise. Seated. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. This morning's case is the students versus Matthew Fister and Bartholomew Grogan. Is the prosecution ready? Yes, Your Honor. Is the defense ready? You know it. I was asking your counsel, Mr. Fister. She's ready, too. Actually, Your Honor, the defense is not ready. Sir, a conflict of interest has arisen between the defendants and myself. Therefore, I cannot competently and of clear mind defend them. I ask to be taken off the case. You're recusing yourself on the day of the trial? Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have told me that. Miss McKenna, Miss McKenna. All right, all right, settle down, settle down. This is an unusual set of circumstances. Your Honor, I demand a mistrial and further move nolo contendere that the charges against the defendants be dropped. I second that motion, Your Honor, visu, visu, and ask that all prior statements be stricken from the record. Corpus Christi. OK, OK, that's enough. Gentlemen, we have several cases to get through this morning. So in light of these unique circumstances, I'd like to make the following proposal. Since your lawyer has excused herself from this trial, you have the option of representing yourselves or being represented by the court-appointed alternate. Your Honor, may I have a moment to confer with Mr. Grover? By all means. <laughs> Shut up. No. <laughs> Gentlemen. Uh, Your Honor, uh, we're prepared to defend ourselves. Splendid. A 
Upon entering the kitchen, I turned the lights on, and I noticed the defendant standing in front of the refrigerator with her mouths full of food. Thank you, officer. Your Honor, no further questions. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. Not to worry, kid. I know how to handle this guy. Officer Reese, isn't it true that you were on duty on the night in question? That is correct. And isn't it also true that the back door of the cafeteria was left unlocked? That's correct. Officer, did you or did you not order the code red? What? Did you or did you not order the code red? Mr. Fister. Your Honor, I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. That's enough. Mr. Prosecutor, That's you are out of order. Mr. Grogan, you are out of order. Please, Your Honor. I ask for the court's indulgence. A wise man once warned that he who represents himself has a client for a lawyer and a lawyer for a client. Now, what we need to determine here is what is the truth and what is the lie. Hey, hey. Why, that man's not paralyzed. And if that man is not paralyzed, how do we know that he is a security officer employed by this university? Yes! Do so. Right there! This court finds you guilty as charged. As punishment for your crime, you will each serve 500 hours of community service. Uh, Your Honor, um, does that mean we have to do like an hour a day for 500 days? You can break it up any way you wish. Oh, could we do then like uh, 500 hours in one day? Next case. So the thing she needed to tell you was that she was going home for the weekend. That's what she said. And this was after you guys got in the fight? Yep. Well, Firefly, I think I hear some thunder. I thought he was gay. Believe me, he's not. What does that mean? Did you fuck him? No! Are you sure? Tracy. Hey, I thought you were seeing Suzanne McKenna. I am. So, where is she tonight? Hey. 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 Ah, uh, I'm gonna go get a beer. <laughs> well, we were right. She's definitely with Tracy. How do you know? I asked Emily. She told you? No. But she hesitated. She hesitated. Are you sure? I'm sure. Shaving cream. She blinked, Felix. It's a liar's blink. I watched her, man. She just stood there, blinking. She's alone. I swear. This is a train wreck, buddy. Fuck. Get off. I just don't like you seeing other people. Well, neither do I. Well, maybe we should stop then. Stop seeing other people? Yeah. OK. Well, only if that's going to be OK with Felix, of course. <sighs> Suzanne? No, it's fine. I love you, Suzanne. Tracy, I don't know. Ooh, I bet she's got a lot of spies out tonight. Aren't you worried? Worried about what? We're just talking. <laughs> well, look what happened last time we were just talking. Let's have brunch sometime. Oh, that'd be great. Um, you have my number? <laughs> well, it's in the book, right? Yeah, right. Ladies, are you 
kidding? This is popcorn. Community service. I'm so scared. Community service. Here we go again. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus! Ah, loser. You guys doing that for credit? Actually, Matt and Grogan are doing it for community service. <laughs> so, how was your weekend? It was good. How was yours? Fine. Really? What'd you do? Where did you say you were again this weekend? I told you, I went home. Oh, that's right, that's right. Why, did you talk to Emily? Did I talk to Emily about what, Suzanne? <sighs> I was gonna tell you before I left. Tell me what? You're a jerk, Felix. Am I missing something? Tracy was with me this weekend at my parents' house. I know. I know you know. I know you know I know. Were you gonna tell me? Yeah. I don't know, I just... Why so sneaky? I mean, we are seeing other people after all. I know. I'm sorry. I was just pissed off about that Jennifer Montgomery thing. <laughs> what Jennifer Montgomery thing? What Jennifer Montgomery thing? Perhaps you don't remember a couple of weeks ago when you banged her? Look, this is about Tracy, not Jennifer Montgomery. He told me to break up with you. Is that what you're doing? No. I broke up with him. Huh. Not just because of you, it was just time, I think. Well, that really changes everything. No, I don't want it to change everything. Well, it does. But it shouldn't. So then you want to continue to see other people? No, of course not, Felix. I just broke up with Tracy. Why, do you? No, I don't. OK, then you and I will stop seeing other people officially, starting right now. What did you do this weekend? Did you guys hear Zach got the number? No, you got it. It was a seven in the sixth spot. Damn! I was gonna guess that. Huh. Shit! Give me the grubby details. <clears throat> so I call her, and she says, let's go to dinner. Where'd you go? Leatherfish. Oh, Mr. Ritzy Pants. <laughs> the conversation <laughs> is good, right? We're drinking, we're laughing. Did you get any action? Uh -huh. We'll wait, right? After dinner, we go for a drink at the jug. After an hour there, we're both feeling pretty good. Things are looking very promising, all right? I mean, she's getting really close to me. I mean, really close. She's like this close. <laughs> I get the point. <laughs> I could have leaned out to kiss her at any time. But you didn't kiss her? I didn't want to kiss her in a public place. What, like on the face? All right, so you walk her home. So I walk her home. Did you hold hand? I don't hold hand. Me neither. Me neither. So anyway, we're standing outside her doorway, right? We're both saying how good a time we had. And so I lean in to kiss her. And? And she does the ostrich neck pullback thing. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Oh. Did you make contact? I was going in, I kept going in, and I kissed her. But she gave me the limp lip. <laughs> Maybe she was just nervous. <laughs> about what? Maybe she liked you so much, she was so nervous about being with you that she literally went into a deep lip freeze. 
It happens to me all the time. <laughs> so anyway, as she's going into her house, she looks out and she actually says, Hey, Zach, call me sometime. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, the campus cops are really great, though, aren't they? Great at eating donuts. <laughs> that is so true, baby. That is so true. But I don't know. I'm pretty picky when it comes to eating donuts. I only like the chocolate ones, the jelly-filled <laughs> ones, the sugar <laughs> ones, and the cinnamon <laughs> ones. You gotta love them donuts. <laughs> You just gotta love them donuts. But seriously, I went to Catholic school and it was really strange because there were all these nuns running around and none of them were married. Um, well, okay. Gooey chocolate donut. Bad dream? Oh, no, Sean. I'm okay. Oh, freak, you'll make it all better. Hmm. Let me get you a glass of water, baby. Hmm? Or oh, maybe, freak, you can find you a donut. Because I know you like the chocolate ones, the jelly ones, the honey dip ones. Damn, that's funny. <laughs> all right, everybody, listen up. We've got three new games on the schedule this month. We're playing Alexander, Pac, and BC. Those are all pussy teams! Yeah! yeah! Alexander and BC are on the road. We're playing Pac here next weekend. Hey, didn't BC kick the fuck out of us last year? Yes, they did. The pussies! Yeah! yeah! All right, any of you new fellas who don't have jerseys yet, talk to Mularkey. Mularkey's a pussy! Christ, you don't have to raise your hand, Felix. Oh, uh, OK. Uh... Are we playing Peck University, Peck University? Yeah, that's right. Peck's fucking pussies! Yeah! yeah! All right, anyone else? OK, then, we're running to the reservoir. Last one back has to eat a spoonful of mud. Let's go! <laughs> Maybe you'll get injured. I'm not afraid of the guy. <laughs> but I've seen this guy, Felix. He's got to be 6'5", 220 pounds. Now, I'm no carnival employee, but you couldn't be more than 150 pounds. And how tall are you? 5'5", five, 5'6"? Five, five, I'm 5'9". Felix, rugby is a full contact sport. It's a sport which not only allows, but actually encourages one player to legally kick the crap out of another player. You got on the rugby team because you want to show Suzanne you're as tough as Tracy. No, that's really not the case. That is so the case. OK, so it is the case. But by virtue of being on that team, you are now about to get your ass handed to you by the very guy you were trying to prove you're as tough as. Are you not struck dumb by the irony of this? You familiar with Johnny Cash? The Man in Black? He wrote a song called A Boy Named Sue. You know what that song's about? Is it about a boy named Sue? <laughs> That's right, wise guy. It's about a deadbeat dad who has a son, and he wants him to be a tough motherfucker. So he names the boy Sue, because he knows with a name like that, the kid will get into a fight every single day of his life. Sure enough, the kid turns out to be a big, nasty prick. Only problem is, he turns out to be such a nasty prick that he hunts down his deadbeat father, and he shoots him in the face for naming him Sue in the first place. I don't think that's how the song really ends. Well, don't you worry about it, because somehow, somewhere, about 20 years ago, this guy, Tracy's psychotic parents, had the same idea. So I'm afraid, Felix, what you have on your hands is tough Tracy Shannon. A guy with not only two first names, but two girls' first names. 
the guy who's the meanest, baddest, toughest guy in the East, and he's gonna unload 15 plus years of mental torture on your sorry ass. You're enjoying this. I admit it amuses me. But I've got a plan, a way out of this. But it's not easy. Lay your arm on the end of this table. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna break it. <laughs> Please. Felix, your only choice is to quit. Easy, Latigra. I'm not gonna quit. So you're just gonna let this guy beat you up in public? In front of the whole school? In front of Suzanne? Everyone's gonna be showing up to see one thing, to see you fight this guy, and you're gonna get walloped. Walloped? Walloped! Give me the arm, Felix. Welcome to Rick Johnson's Pizzeria. May I help you? Uh, yeah. I'll have... I'm sorry, just a moment. Rick Johnson's Pizzeria. Rick Johnson speaking. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's two large Rick Johnsons, one Rick Johnson's curly fries, and a Rick Johnson shake. 20 minutes. Domenico, order to go. Si, Senor Johnson. May I help you, ladies? Yeah. I'll have a Rick Johnson with broccoli. Uh, Rick Johnson. Domenko, order to go. I'm sorry. Rick Johnson with broccoli, a Rick Johnson side salad, and a shake. We don't serve shakes. The guy on the phone just ordered one. He ordered a Rick Johnson shake. Oh, all right. I'll have a Rick Johnson shake, please. And for you? Um, I'll just have a uh, Rick Johnson side salad, a uh, Rick Johnson dill pickle, and a Rick Johnson salsa water. Very good. Take a seat, I'll have Rick Johnson bring it out to you. So, what's up with Freaky? Have you called him? What? Jesus Christ, it was one night. It's not like we're going out. Okay, I was just asking. I'm sorry, it's just... I actually like the guy, but he gets into your dreams. Pickles. Anyway, what's the deal with Felix? I mean, this whole rugby thing is just crazy. I know. Isn't it bizarre? But I think it's kind of sweet, though, you know, that he's trying to impress me. Well, what did Tracy say? About what? About the game. What game? The rugby game, Suzanne? What rugby game? Even if you buzzed my arms and legs off with a high-powered chainsaw and left me for dead, I would find a way to drag my bloody stump of a body onto that field Saturday. I am playing in that game. God damn it! Promise me you won't hurt him, Tracy. Well, you know a promise like that would compromise my integrity as a rugby player. Tracy. Suzanne, I am going to play. Not playing in that game on Saturday. Hi, Suzanne. Not playing in that game. Suzanne, don't worry about it. Shut up, Felix. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. I can take care of myself. Tracy is going to kill you. What happened to your arm? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Ow. Look at that bruise. Did you get that playing rugby? No. You should have told me about Saturday. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. It's just another game. Oh, just another game. And how many games have you been in so far? None. I want you out of that game on Saturday. I don't think you understand. I can't. I'm on the team. Felix, I think you're very macho, okay? I think you're much more macho than Tracy. I really mean that, okay? This has nothing to do with that. I just want to play rugby. That's it. Bye, Suzanne. Hey, Greg. Hey, Felix. 
Wait, hey, what's this I hear about you and some peck chap? It's nothing. Where'd you hear about that? Hey, look, Felix, you know, if you want out of this game on Saturday, it's okay by me. I'm playing on Saturday. Good. This fella has a female's name anyway. How tough could he be, right? <laughs> Felix, you got a grudge match with some fucking peck squid? Yeah. You gonna fuck him up, huh? Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I didn't know you were dating Suzanne McKenna. Yeah, I am. She's hot. Thanks. I mean, yeah, she is. <laughs> Who's that guy in Peck? Her old boyfriend? Yeah. Are you gonna bust his ass? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna sack his crack! It's bumpy over here. It's bumpy there. That was attached. Look, Alaska is cold. Antarctica is cold. They were attached. Dude, look at it. Hot. Hot. So. They were attached. <laughs> exactly. You got it? I got it. Mystic Pizza. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure one owner writers in this movie? Suzanne called. When did she call? About a minute ago. I told her you'd be right back. Oh, whatever. I'm not calling her. I've heard what she has to say. Ooh. So you're telling me we get to see Julia Roberts naked in this movie? That's what I heard. Full frontal? I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. She's too big a star. Well, you can be a big star and do nudity, you know, if it's a great piece of work. One of the classics. Like what? Wizard of Oz. I'd go see a nude Wizard of Oz. I was in a nude production of uh, Wizard of Oz in high school. <laughs> I played the Tin Man. You don't know the full meaning of the Lollipop Guild till you've seen two dozen naked midgets. That was Do You Feel Strange by Boom Hank here on Coburn's own WCOB Week Up. Joining me now is Dan Fay of the Coburn University Robbie team. How you doing, Who's Danny? Dan Fay? No, hey, Duke Gray. Uh -huh. I hear we got a good game shaking up on Saturday. Oh, oh yeah. Our starting right wing Felix Bean has personally promised to kick the ass of one of the pet chumps. The guy's you name did? is um, oh. Tracy or something. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. He's gonna kill you. You know what they say about the guys with the girls' names? Uh, uh, no, I don't. Well, show up on Saturday and find out. Go get him, Felix. Make us all proud. Up next, a new tune by Beryl Sausage. Here... <laughs> what the fuck was that about? Well, at least there's no way Suzanne was listening. How do you know? She would have called back. I'm not here. I'm not here either. I'm not here. Me either. Greetings, Earthlings. At the laser. Please commence your communication. And then take me to your leader. That is the funniest message I've ever heard. Felix. Felix, pick up oh, the goddamn shit. phone. She's pissed. Pick up the phone, <laughs> Felix. Maybe I should pick it Felix, up. Felix, no. I know you're there. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> Zach, I know you're there. Ah, <laughs> Zach. Felix, I heard the radio declaration. Great job. Hang up for God's okay, sakes. Bye, Felix. All right, fine. Call me the second you get in. <laughs> All right. Hey, crank up the movie. Yeah. You're safe now, son. Are you sure one of the writers in this flick? I'm pretty sure. I just loved her in Little Naked Women. I want to hear more about this rugby thing. You don't want to know. No, come on, seriously, tell me. No. No, really. Is Felix here? Yeah. Okay, I'm inside. Suzanne wants to speak to you. It's over. You're breaking up with me? Yeah, I'm breaking up with you. So now one of my ex-boyfriends is gonna beat up another one of my ex-boyfriends, and I sure am sorry I'm gonna miss it. Goodbye, Felix. I gave you a chance, and you fucked up. Let me try again. No. Please, Felix. I won't just bruise it this time. I can break it. Enough with the arm. Hey, Felix. Hey, Greg. 
don't know you, Chad. You just want me free quid. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Dollars, dollars. Why wouldn't I show? What? I said you would show. Oh, shit. Did not think you were gonna show up. That's right. You owe me three bucks, you fuck. Yeah, I'll fucking pay you. I just don't have any money right now. You got some balls. Oh, yeah? I went to hockey camp with that guy. He's a pussy, right? Well... Hey, you still want to play, right, Felix? I'm playing. All right, that's good enough for me. Oh. All right, everybody, let's round the top! Which one is he? I can't see him right now. He's in that huddle somewhere. Oh, wait. There he is. Which one? He's the guy who's pointing at me right now. Ah. Huh. He looks like a pussy. That's her walking toward us. She looks pissed. Okay, Tracy, I broke up with Felix, so you don't have to beat him up now. Why do you think I'm gonna beat him up? We're just playing a game. Tracy, I'm not dating him anymore. Get lost! Oh, sorry. I thought you said she broke up with him. She did. And she broke up with you too, right? Right. So I guess she's available, huh? OK, look, I've had enough of this. You're not playing in this game. Yes, I am. I'm warning you, Felix. I'm giving you one last chance to stop this. One last chance. I'm playing. OK, that's it. Folks, I hate to break up this game. Which one of you is Felix Bain? What? What's going on? We're gonna have to take him in. He's wanted in connection with breaking and entering. I wish he was Bain. Look, Officer Reese. Felix is an important player on our team. It's an important game. We really need him. Do you suppose you could let him play the game and you can talk to him after the game? Come on, Officer. Well, let him play. I really. Let him play. Settle down. Well. No, no way, he's coming with us. Who's Felix Bean? I'm Felix Bean. No, I'm Felix Bean. No, I'm Felix Bean. 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 Jesus, you're all Felix Bean. Go ahead and play your game already. Higgins, go up to the office and pull Bean's picture. We'll get him after the game. Yeah! Why didn't you take him? He's the third man. He's the third man. He's not going anywhere. We'll get him after the game. No, you have to get him now. You have to get him now. 
Easy. We'll get him after the game. Uh. We have to get him now. We have to get him now. Suzanne! Suzanne! Here's your neck brace. That is not my neck brace. Look, if it's sympathy you want from me, you're not gonna get it. I'm sorry. Too late for that. Oh, hey, thanks for turning me into security, by the way. I did that for your own good. They should have stopped you from playing. Well, they didn't. I can see that. Did they arrest you? <sighs> no, they felt sorry for me. God! Suzanne, what do you want me to do? doing in my car? I can't keep up with you without it. Suzanne, I'm sorry. 
Save it, Felix. I'm not interested. No, I really mean it. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry now? After you go through all that macho bullshit to get the crap kicked out of you. I did not get the crap kicked out of me. Listen to you. You have a sprained neck, bruises on your face, a broken arm, and you're wearing a body brace. Felix, you're wearing a body brace. OK, I made a mistake, but it's not my fault. I need you to think I'm a tough guy. That's instinct. I have instincts. I have to fight the other bulls. I have to breed, and I have to protect my offspring. I can't help it. My god, you're insane. Come on, Suzanne. I think I'm just going to give up on men for a while. Oh, well, that's good, because I think I can pretty much take on any woman in a fight. Leave me alone. Another room. Fuck you! Fuck you! Felix, you're being irrational! Suzanne, you can't do this Fuck to me. Felix, Fuck you, you, you son of a bitch! Felix, you're out of control! Those are the bulls! Those are the other bulls! Ouch. Felix. Oh. oh, I love you, Suzanne. I love you too, Felix. I'm sorry. I know you are. I really mean it. I know you do. Now move over and let me drive. Will you take me back? <laughs> of course I will. Now move over and let me drive. Why? Because I'm going to drive us home, Felix. Well, don't you think I should drive? Why? Well, I am the man after all. <laughs> oh. Move over now, Felix. So I guess you're gonna miss the rest of the rugby season. Greg asked me if I'd be mascot. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> oh, I saw Marjorie at the track yesterday. You know, the one that Zach likes? Oh, yeah. I found out what the deal is. Are you ready? She really likes Zach, but she's already seeing some guy who's away in Switzerland this semester. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Does Zach know about the Swiss mister? Well, I told Emily, so I'm sure it got to Zach by now. That's a safe bet. <laughs> so are you servicing the community with Matt and Grogan today? Nope. They actually got stuck with the night shift. <laughs> How much garbage can they pick up in the dark? What? What? I, I think I heard something. Freeze! <laughs> Dude! 